Hi, I'm Abir from Skill Curb and today we're going to do a hands-on lab on Looker. Looker is a cloud-based business intelligence and data analytics platform that helps organizations to make informed decisions by providing them with access to actionable insights. It allows the businesses to explore and analyze the large amounts of data from multiple sources and generates visualization and reports that are easy to understand and share. In this diagram, we can see the main components of Looker and how they fit together. At the top, we have the data resources and which can be one or more databases, data warehouses or other data stories. Below the data sources, we have the Look ML models, which are definitions of data and its relationship. LookML is Looker's modeling language that allows developers and admins to define their data in standard format that can be used by everyone in the organization. Below the Looker ML models, we have the Explorer, which are interactive views of the data. Users can use the Looker interface to explore and analyze the data, including filtering, aggregation, and visualizing in various ways. Finally, we have the data tables, dashboards, and looks, which are the outputs of the analysis. Users can create this report, dashboards, and visualizations based on their analysis of the data. The Web Analytics project on the Looker console is a project created by the Looker user or the administrator to analyze the web traffic data. Web Analytics is the process of collecting, analyzing, and interpreting the data about website usage, which can be used to optimize the website performance and marketing campaigns. This is the dashboard that we will be creating. So let's get started. So you need to request a demo from the Looker and you will get the trial. After logging in, you can see here that what the console looks like. You can see that we have the multiple real-time use cases that can be used to create dashboards. So we will be selecting Start Exploring button under the Retail tab that says Web Analytics. So this is what our Explore looks like. We will have our dimensions and measures on the left-hand side. So the first thing we will do is to create an e-commerce funnel. To do that, we will be using some measures and these are from the funnel view tab. Select all sessions, browse or later, view product or later, add to cart or later and purchase and then click on run. You can see that we have a results generated here, but if you open the visualization tab, you will be able to see that there is a bar chart made for you with respect to the results below. Let's select some filters for this graph. From the session drop down menu, select start session and from there select on week. And then let's just set that for two weeks and then click on run. By setting up this filter, we can see our data much more clear. Now let's just add some more filters and these can be traffic source from the users tab and the browsers from the visitors tab. And then just click on run. Now I will just make few edits in the graph. The first one would be just to add the percent of the previous. Next from the series tab, I will select the sunset as my colors for the graph. From the views tab, I will turn on the value labels and there you go, we have our first look created. Now let's just create a dashboard by clicking on the settings from here and then choose save. Now select as a new dashboard. I am naming it here as web analytics skill curve. Next click on save. Now if we can click on the dashboard, we can see that our look that we just created can be seen. Now to create another look, we need to go back to the home page and click on start exploring. Now we will be creating another visualization on how long does a visitor spend on a website. For that, we need to select the dimension as duration tier seconds and the count from the session tab. Now click on run. From the visualization tab, select bar chart and you can see your visuals there. It's really your choice which visuals you want to select. And if you notice here that we have our SQL generated right here, we can see all the queries that are automatically generated while we are creating this visualization. Next, I will fast forward this to make some edits like I made for the previous one.
Now let's just save this new tile into our web analytics dashboard. Now let's just create another tile and in this tile we will be creating a pie chart for the percent purchasing. So from the dimension select the includes purchase to see if the purchase is included or not and from the measures tab select count to see the number of sessions. Now open the visualization tab and select the pie chart. You can see the pie chart has been created. For the filters, I will be adding the ones we did for the first one. After this, I will be making some edits and changing this pie chart to a donor chart, which will be simply by setting the radius by 50. The rest of the settings will be as we did for the previous graphs. Now let's just save this to our dashboard and name it as person purchase and save it to web analytics. Now let's just create another tile which would be visits by browser. This is simple and can be done by selecting the browsers from the visitors tab and then select count from the events tab. Since we have to measure the visitors, we need to see the count of the events. Now click on run and from the edit menu, select the inner circle to be zero so that we can see our pie chart. And there, we have it created. Now save this tile to the dashboard and save it as visits by the browsers. Now here in this visualization, we can see the browser, the name of the browser and the percentage of the browser that has been visited. Now let's just create another tile that shows us the bounce rate per page. We need to select the event type from the events tab. Then for the measures, we need to select the bounce rate from the events and the count from the session tab. And then we will just simply click on run. Now let's just add some filters. For the event type, we need to limit some of them. And let's just make that is not equal to purchase, register, history, and cancel. And then let's just click on run. Now let's just make some edits. Here in the Y axis, I will just move the session to the right axis. And from the series tab, we can just select the bounce rate to be the type line. And rest of the edits will be the same as the previous one. We can save this style as bounce per rate and then just save it to our dashboard. Now for the rest of the graphs, I will just fast forward them and show you the final look of the dashboard.
There, you can see our final look of the dashboard here. We have our donor chart for the percentage purchasing, whether there is a purchasing or not, and the percentage values. Next, we have the bar chart created for how long does the visitor spends on the website. We have the number of sessions and the duration. Then we have our pie charts that shows the visits by the browser. And then we have e-commerce funnel, the bounce per rate, the most popular brand, the daily sessions and the user counts. Also, we have the global events, number of the total converted visitors and finally the total profit. You can update the filters on the top and choose the desired values and click on update. You will be able to see the values will be changed for every graph. You can edit this dashboard by clicking on the three dots here and set your chart as desired. We can also share and download this dashboard. This ends our lab here. I hope that you understand how we can create our visuals with different dimensions and values. Thank you so much for watching.